go to Fiesta. Anyone who has traveled extensively uh, through the Southeast Asia region, and specifically the Philippines, is fully aware of the diversity of the cultural practices and, and uh, things that go on here. But the Philippines specifically is a little different because it's known as the Fiesta Country. And, and that results from over 400 years of Spanish influence in this part of the world, as well as other Pacific Islands in the Western Pacific. Uh, sort of a front seat importance to local culture um, and everyone agrees Filipinos love their fiestas I mean just the word alone usually brings a smile to the face of almost any Filipino fiestas are a time for fellowship food and activities fiestas can last from days to weeks take the Sinalog uh, festival in Cebu City for example I think it lasts something like 15 days Town fiestas can have many faces. Uh, they usually feature a mass, uh, church mass, and a procession with their patron saint. And long after the religious ritual is completed, people will celebrate with various activities. And it culminates all at the end of the uh, fiesta period where a big feast is held and people eat, drink, and enjoy the rest of the day. Um, as a note here, I'll just let you know that the band at the end of this procession is a rent-a-band <laughs> from another barangay. Um, I guess the bands are in short supply, so they do many fiestas. Which way did the parade go? You didn't see it? How'd you miss the parade? You missed it too? I did too. Maybe next year, huh? Here it is. This is what's left of the parade. <clears throat> Is this is this the parade? Huh? Is that the parade? Yeah. It's over? Yeah. I missed the whole parade, huh? Village parades and evening dances uh, are just some of the additional activities that can go on and on. Well, believe it or not, it's like 4.42 in the morning. The party continues. And for some party goers, the party never ends. <laughs> the head cook? Are you the head cook? The cook in charge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the driver. Me? No, no. The camera. Video. Is that, is that okay? I have work. You have I what? Have, I have to make. <laughs> Drive slow. Okay. In a small village such as the one we live in, it's not uncommon to eat and then head on over to somebody else's house and eat again. Um, it's a village participation and everybody pitches in from young to old and uh, kids help prepare the meals and, and get everything ready and uh, nobody seems to complain because the reward is always at the end and that's good food. What time you eat? 12 o'clock? 12. And when it is time to eat, everyone participates, um, young and old, and there's always more than enough to go around. Um, most times there's enough to even take some home, but you've got to know that whether you get there early and have your pick, or you get there late, you're always going to leave happy. And when you first step foot on Guam, you'll realize that the Spaniards left their mark here too because the fiesta is also big here in Guam. Uh, the big difference between here and the Philippines is uh, it's become Americanized and uh, very bountiful. 
I think it would be safe to say here that on Guam, this is the land of fiestas on steroids. One of the other major differences I noticed between fiestas uh, here on Guam and in the Philippines is the length of the fiesta itself. In the Philippines, generally a fiesta can last for many, many days, where here on Guam, uh, it's generally a working class place and people work until Friday afternoon and they got to go back to work on Monday. So the fiestas here and all the activities are crammed into a full weekend. And that's possibly why there's so much emphasis placed on the food and the eating portion of the fiesta here on Guam. Are you the duty fly chaser? Huh? And as a side note, I will point out that the, the Guamanians or Chamorros definitely t put a little emphasis on, uh, on presentation, as you see here. swear I'm going to skip the next fiesta but where's the fun in that <laughs> 